Hello, welcome to Commodity Corner. I'm your host, John Thorpe from Canon Trading. Today I thought uh, I'd like to show you a tool that uh, many people use, uh, financial uh, news reporters do. Um, I think even the Federal Reserve Board membership uh, may even be interested in what the CME has created here. This is uh, free to the public. Um, and it will give you a sense of uh, what the probability is or what the expectations are uh, when the uh, FOMC meets and announces its rate decision. It uh, attempts to answer the question um, through market action, uh, market action being the uh, Fed Fund futures contracts, of which those are listed monthly, not quarterly, like other financial futures uh, contracts tend to be. These are listed monthly. And uh, as you can see, we've got uh, a day, 20 hours, 57 minutes, and some seconds left uh, until the rate decision, which is going to be on Wednesday, May 3rd. This is Monday, May 1st. Uh, so if we're on this web page, we can scroll down a little bit. And we can see the Fed Watch tool, May 3rd, and you see a number of different dates up here. These dates correspond to future FOMC rate decision meetings all the way out to a year and a half uh, or longer. Uh, May 3rd, right now, the probability of us uh, being uh, at between five and five and a quarter percent or the Federal Reserve being at five and five and a quarter percent, which would represent a quarter of a point increase from where we currently are. As you can see down here, we're between four and three quarters and five percent. Uh, we have, uh, and you can see the history, this is today, this is a day ago, a trading day ago, this is Friday, a week ago, and a month ago, where we thought these numbers were and how they've changed based on the price action in Fed Fund Futures here. So here's the mid-price Fed Fund Futures, here's the contract itself, the ZQK3. Uh, if you, uh, you know, subscribe to the CME data, you should be able to get this. Here's the uh, prior open interest, uh, quite a bit, 379,000 lots. Um, and, and what this what this price represents is the confidence that um, this next Fed meeting will raise a quarter of a point. Right here, we've got a 94.2% uh, chance. Just this morning, it was 92.2. I wrote in the daily blog, it was 92. It's changed to 94.2%. It's actually, the odds have actually increased that uh, we are not going to go lower. And we're not going to go higher. There's no probability at all that we're going to go higher than a quarter point increase. There's no half percent here that the market is picking up, that the market believes. That doesn't mean it won't happen. That doesn't mean the FOMC couldn't say we want to increase by a full, uh, you know, four points or, or one basis point instead of a quarter basis point. Um, but this is the way the market appears uh, to assign probability. You can also take a look at where... June 14th FOMC um, probabilities uh, will arrive. And here, if we've increased a quarter of a point, if they were correct, um, then there's a 67.9% chance, based on today's trading, that we're going to stay the same, that we're not going to increase. There's a small percentage that we're going to increase another quarter, and a smaller yet still uh, percentage that uh, or probability that we're actually going to decrease and go back down. We'll see what the Fed has to say on Wednesday. I hope this was useful. There are a lot of different buttons over here on the left that uh, you can spend some time on for your numbers geeks out there like myself and enjoy um, uh, taking a look at its CME FedWatch tool. You can uh, search that and you'll stumble upon it. I would save it to my favorites. And I think it's useful in terms of calming your nerves when you have trades to place around the uh, FOMC meeting because you have a pretty good idea of what the expectations may be. You make it a good day, and until next time, we'll see you.